Hi, I'm Dan Costa, Editor-in-Chief of PC Mag. I'm here with Sasha Segan, and we're going to break down Google I.O. 2014 for you. The keynote was three hours long. It was loaded with product announcements. We had wearables, we had TVs, we had autos. We're good. We did not have skydiving, but we're going to break it all down for you. The, most, the, biggest, the biggest development is Android L. Yeah, Android L is the next big version of Android. Uh, we don't know what its number is. We don't know what its cute uh, name is. But we do know that it has dozens of different features that we saw on a slide at the show. Uh, one of the biggest is material design. Uh, this is more physicality in the Android design. We're talking about more 3D effects, more shadows, uh, things having uh, almost a physical touch and physical textures. It's skeuomorphism, what Apple used to do, but in a much more subtle way. So we're going to see a lot more, almost all the default apps have been redesigned for Android L. Google's also announced something called Android Auto. We knew that this was coming. It's going to be an in-dash interface to actually develop apps and let you control your phone from your car dashboard. Uh, that's been something that car Apple's been doing with CarPlay, and Google's going to have its own version of it. Yeah, absolutely. And now uh, we've had Android on phones, Android in cars. How about Android TV? Uh, Android TV is software that it, Google is making available to set-top box makers. Uh, so it could appear on uh, a Roku or something like a Fire TV, et cetera, et cetera. But unlike the old Google TV, it's not web-centric. It's content-centric. Uh, it's going to have a lot of search functionality to provide contextual information about the shows you're watching, various ways to download shows, and integration with Google Play to play games on your TV. Uh, the Android TV is one of the biggest things physically we saw. What's one of the smallest? Smallest, of course, we knew there would be wearables. Android Wear was announced a couple of months ago. We knew what some of the basic functionality were, was going to be. We wanted to see the actual devices. We got to see those devices. Two of them are available today, the Moto G and the Samsung Gear Live, which was a bit of a surprise that they're releasing an Android version uh, of a smartwatch. We did not get the Moto 360 as of yet. Wait a minute, you mean the LG G Watch? The, the LG Moto G, G Watch, is a yeah. phone. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. OK, uh, now Google also has a product that uh, pops up on desktops and laptops, Chrome OS. And we heard a little something about that. Specifically, Chrome OS will, in the future, be able to run Android apps. This is super important because Chrome OS didn't previously work very well offline. Running Android apps gives it that offline function. Uh, also in the world of apps. Google Docs, they get a number of upgrades to Google Docs. They're going to be able to separate data that's your work data from your personal data, something we have to deal with here at Ziff Davis because we're Google Apps users. Uh, that's going to be a big shift. And just basically, uh, you know, making the making the, the docs and apps experience a little bit richer. Mm -hmm. uh, Google Docs is also going to have much better Microsoft Office support. You can uh, actually directly edit and round trip Microsoft Office documents. Uh, a couple of weird things happening at Google I/O. There's this bizarre thing called cardboard, uh, which supposedly turns your phone into a VR headset, and it's made out of cardboard. And you put it on your head, and I'm not altogether sure it's a joke. Max Eddy is out there testing it right now. He's yeah. Gonna try and figure it out. He will report back on actually how it works. OK. And finally, something that I've never seen at an announcement like this before, but multiple protesters with different agendas invading Google I.O. Yeah. to complain about different Google. different agendas that's really remarkable. Yeah. They are totally separate. They're not, there's no overlap whatsoever. They're just angry people, all angry at Google. And this just shows the, the social tension in the San Francisco area. One of them thought that Google is making killer robots, and the other one was angry about a real estate deal uh, that a Google executive is making. That's Google I.O. In just a couple of minutes, we are going to have a lot of stories about this on PCMag.com. Stay tuned. Okay.